Do y'all hear that ghetto noise? <sighs> Child, I came in last night super late. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Who am I by? Hey Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nayel. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and you press that bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. I know, I look new. I got my glasses on. Y'all had these glasses for years. I do have like a light, light prescription in them. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have these on because I'm tired of looking at my lashes. They look raggedy scraggedy. It is Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope your love day is special and you either are going on a date or spending time with your love or spending time with yourself and taking yourself out and treating yourself, period. Period, period. I told y'all about that in my Get Ready With Me, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. I also did a story time and I talked the talk, okay? Y'all look at my lashes. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Look at my lashes. Crazy, right? Crazy. A big chunk just came out of this one. Look. And I said, you know what? I will be on this video with glasses all week until I get my lashes done. Because I don't get my lashes done until Friday. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <sighs> so, y'all going to catch these glasses until tonight and then tomorrow night. Yeah, because tonight, y'all, we going on a date. We got a Valentine's Day period, honey. I was talking all that Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day stuff. But tonight, we got a one-on-one -on -one date, okay? So, I'm going to bring y'all along on our Valentine's date tonight. It's just two of us. We going to Roof Chris tonight. I have a cute outfit, I think, or whatever. I think I got a cute outfit. I didn't try it on. So this is going to be funny because I did not try the outfit on, so it's going to be tried on for the first time today. And I'm not going back to my house. I'm at my mom's house, as y'all can see. And I'm getting dressed here, doing my makeup here, all that good stuff. But before then, we are going for a massage. I have a massage schedule at 1 o'clock. It is 11.26, so we're going to go to treat ourselves to a massage. That was my Valentine's Day to gift to me, as well as the perfume. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my last video and then the video before that. And tomorrow, we're going out to eat. Lashes done Friday. This weekend, I'm getting my hair did this weekend. And we're going out to eat Saturday night. So we're going out to eat a lot this week. So just stay tuned, y'all. We got some good footage, some good content coming up. But if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. Period. Love you guys. Hey, squad. So I just pulled up to the Hands in Stone. Here we are. So guys, the massage was great. Just wanted to update y'all. I just got like a deep tissue massage. It was really, really good. And I'm about to wrap up, wrap up my work day. So I did my massage on my lunch break. So I'm about to work up, wrap up my lunch break. And then start getting ready for the night. Because I got a high zinc. I got a high zinc. Or oh, whatever. Yeah, still rocking the glasses. Wore my glasses to the massage and everything. Because these lashes are not about to play with me. They're not about to play with my life. Squad, my mom said... I don't need no edible arrangements. I can make my own edible arrangements. And look what she made her own homemade chocolate covered strawberries. Period, sis. <laughs> look at them. We see you, mom. Treats by Dina. It is my first Valentine's Day gift, y'all. Isn't it so too? I love it. I can't wait to put it up in my house. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. But this is so cute. Hey y'all, y'all thought I was playing. I'm gonna wear these glasses, okay? I feel like I'm giving like sexy school teacher tonight on this Valentine's Day. I'm putting my shoes on right now and I'm gonna show y'all I gotta fix my hair. I have pin curled it earlier. I took like real big pieces and just pinned it. All right, let me see if my outfit is giving y'all. Let me see, I'm looking in the mirror. I think it's giving what it needs to give for the night. Let me take the glasses off real quick. 
feel like I just pin curled some of these the wrong way. All right, y'all. So this is what it's really giving. It's how to get it together. I'm going to take this piece, put it right there. Got a little, little red at the bottom. Boot. Red little mini Chanel. Granimal top from Zara. I got a haul for y'all. I know I said I had a haul for y'all, but I really got a haul from y'all. This is one of the tops. You know, give me a sexy school teacher. Put them shades on to block them lashes. Not playing with y'all. Y'all better be that super y'all can come in these restaurants. Okay? All right, y'all. So I'm out to eat with my date. And y'all know I usually don't show y'all my date. And I don't know how I'm going to show y'all right now. Maybe when the pool come out. Now I show all this. Oh, almost in the hand. You say you got a girl. How you want me? How you want me when you got a girl? I know his hands look um, skinny, but that's that's a mean sight. <laughs> Y'all, here go my day. <laughs> There go my day. I was gonna wait to the food, but I couldn't because we had the cheers. So y'all thought I was what I mean? I'm with my sister. It's giving Galentine. Stop playing. No, I swear these jeans. Oh, sis was hungry. Sis was hungry. Now I'm about to tear this up. But I need Nathan to eat something with me because I will eat this whole thing. <laughs> Alright, it's picture time, y'all. We giving Galentine. We giving you wish you could take us on the date. But you didn't. So that's what it's giving. <laughs> you missed it. Very. Oh, I can't even take my pick like in the, in the mirror. Yeah. Get your pick in the mirror like what? Yeah, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's the one. You said we gotta redo that. Um, hire me for your next event. You must include your own camera. Okay. <laughs> Guys, y'all hear that ghetto noise? Do y'all hear that ghetto noise? <sighs> Chow, I came in last night super late. Yo, look at my lashes. Look at my lashes. See, this is why I don't wear the glasses. My camera had. The SIM card just filled up, so I had to fix that. But yes, I came in last night. I couldn't even converse with y'all and like talk about how late I got in the house last night. But it was dumb late. But I got in dumb late. I went to sleep at like 11.30, 11.30 something at night. Y'all know, dumb late. Because I had to wake up at 3.45 for the gym. Excuse my appearance. I... Anyways, on top of me getting in late, Yo, we was in traffic, like we was coming from Philly. The 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 lanes was like merging into one child. It was just a whole lot of whole lot of. Despite that though, the night was amazing. But saying that to say, I came into this ghetto ness. Like this thing is beeping at it's so ghetto. I hate when people like fire alarms be dead and they don't change out the battery. Like I, I work from home. Like I cannot have this in the background. And I just don't even know how to like put the bat even put the battery in here. And I should have I tried to take the battery out last night, y'all, thinking I was doing something. Like thinking it was gonna go off. And it didn't. It still kept going off. Thank God I sleep with like two fans on my ceiling fan and then my stand-up fan. So I couldn't hear nothing, cause I'm a light sleeper. Like that would have woke me up, like kept me up or gave me a hard time going to sleep. Yo, I just changed the battery. Why is this going off? Yo, I'm irked. I literally just put the battery in there. It was like, did I put it in the wrong way? <sighs> I have a meeting at 8 a.m. and I need to get in the shower. It's 7:12. I had to stop and get a battery. I had to go to Acme, cause I'm like, what is open? All right, so I'll be back, y'all. Oh, see, he had a turn on. There it is. 
Yeah, ghetto. So that means they uh, gotta change the battery because it's getting low. Right. So this is a first alert alarm, smoke alarm, and it says because that the detector you can turn it that way. Door so cell. Do it said the detector to change the battery. Change yearly. This drone say five battery. years guaranteed. Yearly, I'm not gonna change this for another five years. I think we did now. There's your battery. Uh, okay, whatever. Y'all and batteries are so expensive. Adulting is ghetto. I got these two batteries for $8.99. What? I thought that was expensive. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know the prices, the going rates of batteries, but this was $8.99. And to buy one of them, it was $6.99. So I'm like, I might as well get two for two extra dollars because it's $6.99 a, a, a battery. Shh. Ghetto. So I guess this just thing is trash. But yeah, I just wanted to bring y'all in on my shenanigans and how ghetto I think that is. Oh, yes. And y'all, my passport. It came in. Hey. Ow, ow. And y'all, the passport is very brand new. Like, am I old to it or what? But like, where your picture is, it's hard. This joint hard. And they got double pictures. Dude, dude. So, yeah, y'all. I like my picture this time. It's it's cute. Like, it's cool or whatever. Y'all, my picture last time, I told y'all I look like an immigrant. So, I'm very pleased with my picture. We don't have any stamps yet. But, just to let y'all know, we're going to get some stamps this year. We, at minimum, at minimum, we're going to get two. But, I think we're definitely getting three. At minimum, I'm getting two because these trips are planned. Like, but the third one, it's not planned yet. But we definitely going somewhere. So, stamps is going in the passport this year, and that's on what? May have a little lamp. Okay, I'm playing games. I need to go upstairs and get in the shower because I have a meeting in like 45 minutes, and I'm hungry. I want to eat. So. We gonna see what it's gonna get, what it's gonna do, and we gonna have to eat tonight. So another outing tonight. So stay tuned, y'all. I don't know what it's gonna give tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna wear tonight. I do know what I'm gonna wear tonight. I do know what I'm gonna wear tonight. So stay tuned. What up, squad? So it's later in the day. I'm hiking up the steps, and I'm about to start doing my makeup for tonight. Glam room closet room <sighs> let me tell you how worse my lashes got look at them like they look atrocious i had said something on instagram to my lash tech i tagged her she didn't write me back she probably typed with me like girl you need a full set it's funny though because i was gonna wait until like tomorrow and see how bad they were then I was going to try to pick them all off, but not really, like, pick them because I don't want to pull out my lashes. But get them all off and probably, like, end up getting a full set. Because I feel like that's what I need. I feel like I just need a full set. Ouch. 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 Ugh, this is a problem. Anyways, this is what I'm thinking about wearing tonight. Wow, it's giving, like, girl, Matrix, what are you doing? But this is, like, a long... I'm going to try to wear this as, like, a long vest. This was actually a black dress I wore on my birthday one time when I went to California. But it's the sweater dress that I've been wanting to wear. It's cold outside, so it's perfect for dinner tonight. Yeah. And I'm going to try to do my... I'm going to try to do my hair in, like, an updo. This lash is definitely going to bother me. But, yes, I'm going to try to do my hair in an updo. And, y'all, now I'm putting on the glasses. I'm not about to be going out looking cockeyed. And then we're going to throw on the glasses. Cute. I have some other glasses too, so I'll see what other glasses I have I have that might can look cute with outfits. So I'll be back, done up and glamorized. Okay. Alright, squad. So I'm getting dressed, and like I told you guys, I was wearing this sweater dress. So let me kind of. This is like where it goes in length, or whatever. And then this I told you guys was a dress I wore in California when I went to San Diego for my birthday. Like, if it goes, like, kind of all the way down the back, and then it has this little, like, skirt thing right here. So, my mom was saying to wear kind of, like, a vest, and I was like, but it's a dress, and she was like, so what? Y'all know, um, Aaliyah J is one of my favorite, like, one of my little fashion icons. I love her style, and she was like, well, just kind of put it together. She was like, I feel like Aaliyah J would do it. So... Currently, that's what I'm doing, and I'm seeing if I feel the vibes. And I think, I definitely feel like this is something Aaliyah J will put together. And it's so different for me, but I think I might do it because, like, why not? Like, y'all, 
no lashes <laughs> no lashes and I found some glasses, so don't even worry about it. And I still got to do my hair. Don't even worry about it, y'all. I'm about to come together. I'm trying to see. Me with no lashes. Naked mole rat. Whatever. Okay, so this is what it's giving. Right now. So this is the, like, sweater dress under. And then this gives, like, a vest vibe. A little bit. It comes all the way down in the back. <laughs> that thing banging. That thing banging. With no effort. So, I don't know, guys. You got to tell me what y'all think. I have to put it together. Probably have to put it together for some of y'all to really see it. As well as myself. Like, I need to put on my shoes and see, like, what shoes I'm going to wear. And see where we go from there. Y'all. All I'm saying is it came together very nicely. Hold on. Put, give y'all some better lighting. It came together nicely. Now, this would be perfect with the tall shark boots. But we got what we got. Just showing a little skin. But that's what we got the cape for. And all I'm saying is, okay, mom did a great job. We're going to give her her props. Because it came together at the end. And I'm really loving it. Like, the sleeves are kind of baggy and big. So, that gives that that look. Um, turtleneck vibes while this is cut. You know, but you got the sweater. Got... A big jewel piece. Got the accessories. I gotta put my ring on. And shark boot. And then I'm going to wear the black Chanel. Just giving all black. It's giving black out. Like, period. And I told y'all I wanted to do an updo. So this is the messy updo. Got a couple pieces hanging out. And I think it's super cute for tonight. I love this for me. I love this for me, and I need another pick. Period. Mamas. I don't know. I don't see how much time I have. Because I may take my own picks. Oh, yeah. I switched up the glasses, baby. I switched up the glasses. How about these glasses was broke, y'all? But I had I found a little screw and put this drawing back on here. I should have recorded it, but I was like, crunch time. My hands were sweaty. I was trying to make it work. But, yeah. I'm very pleased with today's look. Put it together, honey. You got to use your pieces and reuse your pieces in different types of ways. I'm not even going to take credit for this because my mom put it together. My mom has an eye. Shout out to you, Mama Bear, because you got an eye. And she knows, like, what I like. She can definitely style me. And y'all know this because she be styling me. My mom really styles me. She knows what I like. She knows how to put it together. And that's just period. So let me get my shoes together. Let's pick out the fragrance for tonight and make it do what it do. All right, so for tonight's fragrance, we're going to go with Valentino. This is very much a winter smell for me, a warm smell. Um, it has, like, tones of, like, vanilla in it that I really stick out to me. And that's what we're going with. Spray her. Come on. My mom. Um, I got my mom this. She loves this. Highly recommend. And they have, they have different sizes, so you don't have to get the big bottle drowned in it. And that's definitely one that I believe lasts. Me to me. Sis, you're giving what needs to be gave. You are giving. Y'all know I really don't do earrings like that. I'm just not an earring person. But So I like stuck with the studs. I think that's very appropriate for this outfit. Uh, yeah, I have been trying to be better with earrings. I'll definitely get a lot better Once it gets a little warmer outside and experimenting with colors. I love my little top sophisticated like updo Glasses good job now. Yeah, my mom picked out the leg this and this but I put it together I put it together. So this is a team effort it's a team effort. So give me my credit. Give me my credit period so I don't have time to take my own pictures y'all but I'm going to make sure I get a picture though. I just hope my little curly pieces don't frizz up. But it's cold outside, so they shouldn't. Oh my gosh, y'all. Real quick, because I'm about to walk out the door. I'm about to walk out the door. But y'all, y'all ain't know it had the pockets, though. Pockets really add something to the outfit. I'm just saying. It's the pockets for me on both sides. Okay, to the restaurant we go. <laughs> Mm. Don't kill me guys, but I did not record our food or like what I got to eat. 
but I'll record the dessert. However, their bread here is so good. I'm at Steak 48, I don't know if I told you guys. I got the meatballs for appetizer, and I got crab cakes, asparagus, um, and like some type of sweet potato casserole for my entree. And I wasn't, um, say happy. The first two times I came, it was a lot better, but I got lamb chops, because that's my signature. I always get lamb chops, but I got lamb chops yesterday, so I didn't want to get it today. So I tried something different, and the best thing was the asparagus and the appetizer. But I know the dessert will be daily seal, so. What's up, squad? So today is the next day, obviously. Sis looks, I look, I did a whole like 360. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I know, excuse my appearance. But yesterday, well, it was okay. I loved my look. My look was fire. But I just was not happy with... I wasn't a, a completely happy with Steak 48. And I was so hyped to go eat there again. That was my third time. The first two times, amazing, magnificent. But this third time, I was unimpressed with my waiter, my waitress. She was not good. Like, she was not good. Like, we, I needed her to... Like, she was just not good. I'm going to just leave it at that. I tried something new and got crab cakes. Didn't like them. Was not a fan of them. I didn't like the sweet potato casserole. I'm going to stick to Roof Chris. I love Roof Chris, y'all. Like, Roof Chris is one of my favorite. It's like one of my favorite restaurants. Texas Row House is my favorite regular restaurant. Roof Chris is by far my favorite, like, step up from Texas Row House. But besides the point. That's just a little recap from there. Just wasn't all the way satisfied. Like, definitely would go back to State 48, but I just would stick to what I know. Period. Anyways, today is did i tell you what today was today is wednesday i can't believe it's only wednesday i feel like this week has been so long and that's probably because i've been out late sunday night monday night tuesday night so today, today is wednesday night and i cannot wait to be able to get in my bed early go to sleep and get a full night's rest because i haven't been doing that especially with going in the gym in the morning i've been to the gym monday tuesday wednesday your girl don't play but i haven't been eating my best i've been feeling super bloated super fat to be honest and i'm going to get some cleaner pills and clean my body out and just get my body back on track because I just feel like my midsection is just looking fat and sloppy and I hate it and that's just how I feel right now y'all might y'all might think otherwise but I'm just feeling fat and that's that also today I'm going to get a facial so I know Valentine's Day was Monday but I wasn't able to get a massage and a facial on the same day so they had to split me up so I'm about to go get a facial I'll bring y'all there and just show y'all the vibes but I'm not about to record my facial though because I'm going to hands and stones so I'm gonna just get, be in peace and get my facial because my face needs it. And y'all, I'm so embarrassed because my lashes, there's, if I show y'all my lashes, y'all gonna be like, what lashes? Yes, it's been worse. It's worse than Tuesday and worse than Monday. Hence, still have the glasses. I did reach out to my lash tech and I told her like, I just wanna tell you, I come Friday, I'm gonna need more like a full set than a refill. And she was just like, hey, nice. Okay, thanks. So she know like with me coming in, I just show y'all cause I just be, I be raw dog with y'all. I can look, I'm looking at me from here. Sis, what, I am nothing without lashes. Like, I don't know who I was before lashes, but like, this is me, y'all, in my own skin. Y'all, look at this. This is so ghetto. Like, look at this eye. Like, I want to just flick this off, but I'm trying to be as good as I can be and not, like, pull my lashes out. But I do have real lashes. I did, like, check them out and everything. And let me see if I can show y'all. Y'all see, there you go. There go my lashes, like my real lashes, so. Okay, so I tried to show y'all my real lashes, but yeah. Sis look hit, but it's cool. I Don't even worry about it, y'all, because I'm telling y'all, y'all going to see me transfer. I tell y'all going to see me transfer on this vlog every every week. But I've been cute the past couple days, like, right? I've been dressed. I've been cute. So I'm going to be a little trash these next couple days. Friday too. I'm gonna get my lashes done Friday though. So Friday is gonna be the rebirth. And y'all, I'm loving my nails, loving my new shape. It's giving me like, it's giving me real bougie and like classy and like upper echelon. So I'm keeping the shape. I just gotta make sure I stay with the styles on the nails either. Like I want them to just always look clean and like, clean and like minimalistic. That's my vibes. And yeah, so I get my lashes done Friday. I get my hair did on Saturday. So stay tuned for the hairdo. And then after and then Saturday we're going out to eat. We're going to like a little girls like date night sort of. But I'm gonna be with the old heads, okay? I'm gonna be with the old heads. So we got more in store. 
I'm not sure how this vlog has been. I feel like I haven't been vlogging as much, even though, like, I've done some things. I just feel like I haven't been doing a lot of vlogging. Like, I haven't been showing y'all stuff I always show y'all, which I hope you guys appreciate. Because y'all see me at the gym all the time. And I don't want it, the vlogs to get repetitive and redundant and boring. But this is my life. Let me put back on my glasses because I look cockeyed. Like, I look, yo, it looked like my eye going that way. But it's just because this last chunk is going that way. That's why we put on the good old lashes. Period. What up though, y'all? So I finished on my facial. Um, feel good about it. It was a pretty good facial. And now I came home to a package from Zara. Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> it shouldn't be hard to guess. It's obviously not my bitter peach perfume, but I told y'all I am for sure for sure ordering that this week. I've been I don't know, honestly, I don't Mm -hmm. Blurry. Camera shaking. I don't know what's taking me so long and procrastinating. I need to put this money in the bank. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so I got another perfume, but it was very, 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 very affordable. And it was a recommendation from my girl Kyra. She hasn't done me wrong yet. It is Ebony Wood. If you watch Kyra, you know about Ebony Wood because she mixes this with everything. She mixes it specifically with Killian Angels, Killian's Angel Share by Angel Share by Killian's, and I have Killian's. She was one of the main reasons why I got Killian's, and I really like Killian's. And she says she also mixed this with this Tom Ford perfume that she got that she has, and she mixed it with everything. And she really, really rants and raves about it from Zara. So. I checked it out. It was very inexpensive. Like I said, it was $29.90, so $30. Ew. All right, Zara, do better. Why does the packaging look like this? Why does it look like y'all forced this in here? Like, this was a small box, and y'all put an extra large perfume in here. Like, Zuveta. Well, it doesn't look like it was open. It was just forced in there, so. Now, this is Ebony Wood. And they have, this, they have a smaller one, too, that's cheaper than $29.90, but... $29.90 is super affordable, super cheap, especially for perfumes. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to smell it here for the very first time. Y'all, me and my blind buys. All right, let's spray it. I'm mean, not spraying it on me because I need to get in the shower. I've been out all day. Well, I haven't been out all day, but I've been away from my house all day. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Yes. Mm hmm Oh, this is it. I like this a lot. Ooh. Oh, this smell banging. B banging. This is y'all. Totally recommend. Ebony Woods. Ebony Wood. Not what it, Woods with an S. Thanks, Kyra Girl. Add another one to the collection. And I'm going to try it. I am going to mix it just to see, like, what Kyra be ranting and raving about. Yo, I keep shaking my beauty. I'm being all rough because I'm trying to move fast and get stuff done. But, yes, Ebony Wood is a winner. Very affordable. I ordered it online because y'all know, if you know, you know, Zara is not anywhere close. Well, it's not, like, a quick drive to me, and I'm not about to drive an hour 50 minutes to go get a perfume, so I just ordered it online, and it got here pretty fast, so just wanted to unbox and smell it with y'all, since I be smelling my perfumes with y'all, and yes, I'm not giving up on these glasses, because y'all not about to be on here talking about me, I mean, I don't think I look bad without lashes, it's the fact that I have two lashes on one, and I'm cockeyed over here. Like, if I didn't have no lashes at all, I would just be on here barefaced. And that's just what it'd be. And I'd be looking like a naked mole rat. A naked mole rat with long hair. Even though that don't make sense. But that's what the face is giving. But face, face is glowing, though. Um, there are, like, only a tiny bit of, like, red spots. Because she did extractions from the areas that are bothersome. But definitely happy with my face. So, Ebony. Mm, this don't smell Right, this don't smell right. I'm gonna wear this on Saturday. I don't know if I want to mix it or if I want to do a day with just it. 
We'll see. Y'all find out. Y'all find out. Oh, I'm horrible. I just realized I didn't tell y'all what it smelled like. I was just so hyped because I liked it so much. And it was so affordable. So, it's giving vanilla, sweet, and fresh all mixed together. So, it's like just hopped out the shower, put on some vanilla lotion, and it's like sweet. And there's some type of tone in here that gives it a very mature, like, y'all know me, rich girl vibes. <laughs> it gives that. It gives very much that. So, if you're thinking about it, cop up. If you heard about it, cop up. Um, yeah, so let me go get to my house duties really quick. I'm not going to bring y'all along and bore y'all. Because y'all know I've been trying to, I want to mix it up, mix it up. Or whatever, but yeah. I'm about to just do some laundry and then I'm going to get my behind in the shower. Hey squad, it's Friday the... Is it the 18th? It's the 18th. It's the 18th. I don't have my glasses on because I basically, all my lashes are off. I think it's like like one or two over here but yeah all my lashes are off and i'm supposed to get my lashes done today but i don't know if that's gonna happen so y'all know i'm tight like i'm really really upset like really really upset so i don't know if i'm getting my lashes done today i'm waiting to hear back and i get my hair done tomorrow so i'm just be looking crazy and i just want to tell y'all that i'm pissed like i'm really mad right now like I'm, I'm like, like I'm upset. Like I'm really upset. Like y'all know how I feel about my lashes. Y'all know how I've been feeling about my appearance. I've been talking about my own self all this week, self sabotaging, which isn't a great thing at all. But still, like I want to get my lashes done. Maybe this must be a sign that maybe I need to just take a break for a little while. I don't know. But I'm pissed, and I'm like really about feelings, and I'm about to turn on some trap music and like act like I'm a gangster outside and just listen and vibe to my trap music and that's all folks i'll i'll let y'all know what happens and i'm going out to eat tonight y'all i told y'all i was going out to eat all week i wasn't supposed to go out to eat tonight but my sis asked me that i want to go to this grand opening with her tonight and out to eat and i was like oh perfect i'll get my lashes done at five and then we can go at eight <sighs> so either you're gonna see me on here with some lashes next time or you gonna see me on here with some glasses out. <sighs> Tight. Very, very upset right now. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Hey y'all. Y'all see it? Period poo. Period poo. Got my lashes done. Back. Back like I never left. Period. And y'all see I got some glitter lashes. Yeah. A little brazil dazzle. Just a little brazil dazzle. My sis has some like glitter lashes. She has some colorful lashes. She has a lot of different lashes. Super cute. Super, super cute. And I'm very happy, very satisfied. And my girl always come through. That's why I call her the goat. She scared me for a second. But she don't ever let me down. Make a volume. Make a volume on these girls. I need to brush this. My lashes is like, my real lashes is like all over. Like they be on top of each other. But let me get a spoolie real quick. And yeah, so then me and Britt is here. We're about to go to Crafty Crab and get some seafood. I'm with my fish on. Hey, y'all. Like that. Hey. Throw my lashes off. You see my razzle dazzle? You know the hat I wear? I thought you had the, um, you know the little our sparkle stuff we use? I think you got some on your thing. Now I got razzle dazzle lashes. Oh.
Hey, good morning, y'all. It is February 19th, Saturday. It's the 19th, yeah, I think. It is 9.55. My appointment is at 10. I'm literally five minutes away, so it has me pulling up on time. I washed and blow dried my hair because my appointment got pushed back an hour. Or I like, I didn't have to blow, wash and blow dry my hair regardless, but I'm like, let me wash and blow dry my hair so I can like save some time because I have plans tonight and I don't want to be in the shop all day and all night and I'm getting um some braids y'all I'm getting some braids I'm not gonna tell y'all kind of braids so y'all see in the next upcoming minutes but I had to drive to Philly to get my braids that I want to get because I want to get knotless and my girl I'm going to she kills it every single time so I just rather take the drive for the quality of the braids um I have different girls for different things because I also got my stitch braid girl that like is in Delaware and is the bomb.com but anyways yeah so i'm gonna get my hair ready y'all i had to take this drive i think it's some gas later and i will show y'all what it's looking like when i'm finished and i might put y'all on like i might put y'all on and who i go to now nah, but if y'all ask me i always like send the people pages that i get my hair done from or whoever i get service by as long as i can make my appointments because the girls I be going to be booked and busy, but I be booking way in advance. I've been had this appointment. I think I had this appointment booked at the beginning of January or probably the end of December. No cat. No kizzy. Ooh. All right, y'all. So let me pay attention so I can get there when I'm supposed to get there. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all, the assignment was understood, okay? What happened? I'm driving right now. I literally just got in her car. Um, my sis got me done so fast. So she started me at like 1021. I was done at like 1250, 1240-something. Y'all know how much hair I got. So, like, she snapped. Parts is on a bean. They smell good. They shining. They are so perfect y'all the drive be in the way but when you want quality and you know you're gonna like your hair you take the drive like i'm always gonna come up here to get my like small or medium or medium knotless because she just always just understands the assignment shout out to nira shout out to brady x y'all if you in the tri-state area she's your girl online booking and all that good stuff provide she provides um your hair and snapped snapped hey squad it's been some time it is six no it is 5 49 we are due at our reservations at 6 15 so we are about to leave my mother's house and be on our way i did my makeup in the worst lighting so i feel like i'm so many different tones at this point i'm just gonna have to do what it's gonna do it's so windy outside, it's cold, but I didn't pack a jacket for this outfit, so all I have is this, like, black Sherpa type of fleece. It's horrible. I don't have it on, but I brought it just in case, but I do have a sweater on. It's giving padded shoulders, and I wear my Ebony Wood and Angel Share by Killian's perfume mix, and as of now, I'm really enjoying it. it smells really, really good. 
I don't know if I told y'all, but we are trying out a new restaurant today called Wilma's. It's in Wilmington, Delaware. It's like a New Orleans style restaurant. And they have like a miniature like bowling alley there. So I've heard good things about it. Getting this lane. Heard good things about it. So I'm hanging with the OGs tonight. My mother, y'all girl, she got attitude and I got attitude. So we got attitudes. And she wanted to keep, hold on to her attitude. She hold on to her attitude. I don't she better fix her attitude when we get around these people. So we about to meet up with my second mama and her daughter. But with the old heads tonight, y'all see my braids? I haven't had these in so long. They're not super, super, like, dumb long. I don't know if y'all consider this long. But, like, they're so light. Um, and it's going to make going to the gym in the morning a breeze. I might even sleep an extra 15 minutes. I'm dragging it. I don't know. But y'all, I got to tell y'all about it tomorrow. But the challenge at my gym starts Monday. And I'm going to try to run. I'm a part of the staff challenge. It's a regular challenge and then a staff challenge. And I'm really, really going to try so, so hard to win. I'm going to take my before pictures. And I'm going to show y'all my end result if I win. <laughs> no, but I'm really, really going to try to win. I'm like cutting carbs for dinner. And just gonna do like double veggies and protein i'm gonna make extra protein so like when i be needing a snack i'll eat like a cup of protein like i'm gonna try to do a lot of different things so that i can win this challenge the goal is for me to like get more definition in my abs i'm not trying to lose any weight y'all i just want definition in my ab cut my body fat um and get stronger as far as like maybe trying like to lift heavier for my um squats like i want to be able to squat heavier maybe even bench press heavier I don't know, but more to come, more to come. All right, mother. restaurant was it was really good what did, i thought the food was good my mom got the ribeye steak and it was the cooked potatoes and string beans was excellent everything she got was seasoned very very good i had got like the rice and gumbo combo and i liked it if i could have used a little more like like maybe some salt and pepper you know i'm not a big salt person but i'm getting the right lane and you're not gonna go past that you that light down there you're gonna make it right um, the crab cakes were really good, filled with meat. It wasn't like a lot of filling. It was like a lot of crab. Uh, the cornbread was excellent. It was like a cake to me. That's why I didn't need no dessert. Make this right. You're making this right right here. Up here? Yes. Or yes. Here? No, right here. Um, yeah. I'm mad we didn't get the beignets. I really wanted them. But I forgot that was like the dessert. Or I would have made sure I got some. I'm tight about that. Y'all know I was just telling y'all I'm about to start this challenge. So I'm cheating tomorrow. I'm... Going to eat bad tomorrow. Are you tomorrow. coming to my house tomorrow? I don't know. Um, yeah. I had the strawberry lemon drop. That was pretty good. It was a little sour, but I mean, it's a lemon that drop. It was good. Everything was good. She got a strawberry mojito. I got the the first thing you guys seen, the little, they were sliders. It was alligator sliders. And they were good, surprisingly. It tastes like sausage, to be honest. Are you sure that was alligator? It might be alligator mixed in with it. I don't know. It it did say it though. It was alligator size. That's the only thing that had alligator in it. Appetizer. So yeah. So this was. Um, I'm glad you're showing me this because I didn't know where to get on 95. I literally had was driving around in circles trying to find it. So it was a cute little gem spot on Market Street in Wilmington. We didn't do the bowling, but the bowling was packed. Like they were having a really good time, but I wasn't impressed to do the bowling. But cute place in Delaware. Delaware is coming up, y'all. Everywhere I went, this. 
Well, this weekend, Friday, t yesterday, and today was in Delaware. So I'm turning down. You're here. gonna no, you're gonna you're, you're gonna get on 95 down here, but you can get in a left lane. <laughs> you're gonna go all the way to that last light. Oh, so this is the same spot where you always was right here. Yeah, but you can't get on from certain areas. You you gotta. I don't know, but I know you can get on this way. Hey y'all! So finally home, winding down. About to get undressed and get in the shower and get in the bed. I have church in the morning. I have no idea what I'm wearing. I think it's going to be cold. But I wanted to tell y'all, like, this Angel Shares by Killian in the Ebony Wood. Magnificent. What would Kyra say? Chef kiss. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Like, for real. This is definitely a combo. Remember I told y'all I was done with perfumes, right? Child... Now they've been ranting and raving about how the Tom Ford cherry lost cherry. Oh, because I got I'm on hold right now. Waiting for these people to pick up. But yeah, so they're seeing how Tom Ford lost cherry and Ebony Wood mixed is it. So y'all know I went and looked at the, the Tom Ford Ebony um lost wood. The Tom Ford Lost Cherry, and it's the same price as Bitter Bitter Peach, but I can get the one ounce and not the one point seven ounce. I can get the one ounce for like a hundred dollars and a hundred forty dollars cheaper. So that's next up on my list. I'm not about to get a note. I'm like I'm not about to get it now. I'm not about to get it this month. Probably my Mar March purchase for myself, big purchase for myself, and I think I'm gonna get the Tom Ford Lost Cherry because the Bitter Peach is on the way. They shipped it. I got the email that it shipped. So, yes, but I love this smell. I don't even want to take this sweater off. I do not want to take this sweater off because it smells so good. Mm. I was smelling myself all night like great combo. Sis, sis did her thing. And I borrowed my mom's earrings tonight. These gold square hoops. And they are so freaking cute. Mom, you be Say nah. If you want them back, let me know. But I ain't seen you wear these. If you want them back, though, I'll give them back. But they cute. They were so cute on tonight. Yeah, so I forgot to pack gold earrings. And I forgot to pack a jacket to match this. So that's why y'all see me with that black Sherpa fleece. It was not given what it was supposed to give. My mom said it looked cute and nice. I should have took a picture. And I definitely didn't take a picture. <sighs> Yeah, so I'm about to wind down, guys. Take my makeup book, get in the shower, and get in the bed, and get ready for church tomorrow. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. And I'll probably wrap up the vlog tomorrow since it'll be Sunday and start next week's vlog. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday. It is Sunday the 20th. I think I literally have no idea. I think it's the 20th. <sighs> yeah. Um, yeah. It is like 7.20 in the morning. I need to be leaving my house in 10 minutes at the latest. I'm possibly going to brunch, lunch, brunch, lunch. Like going to lunch, but I'm going to be in brunch style, I think later so i have a cute outfit i want to show you guys i literally just put it together i kind of put it a little bit together last night in my head i picked out this and this um then i have on some socks and some boots I'm trying to figure out my jewelry and if i want to do makeup not really sure about the makeup part because i want to be cute but i'm pressed for time you feel me this is pressed for time no idea what fragrance I want to wear. And I need to be on time for the Lord. Putting on my jewels. Trying to figure out when I want to drop this vlog. I think I'll drop this vlog on Tuesday for you guys. Since I dropped a video on Thursday. And I promise y'all, if not today... Tomorrow, I'm going to record the Zara haul, and I'll drop that, too. Yeah, I've been slacking on that. But I have all my stuff, and I haven't worn... I wore one shirt. Haven't worn the other stuff. I wore one shirt. 
I think I'm gonna just put my studs on, y'all. You know what I need to invest in? I need to get some good, some really good silver hoops and some really good gold hoops. And I want some chunky ones. You know what? I don't really have these. But is this the vibe I'm going for? I don't think so. I don't know. I might can wear these. But I want some like really cute, chunky, like thick, th 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 thick, chunky heels. And I want some, not heels, hoops. And I want some really thick, chunky silver hoops. That might add a little pizzazz. Yeah. Okay. Makeup. Makeup, makeup. Maybe I could do like the concealer thing, y'all. And just do that. Because my face doesn't look bad, like, to be honest. It's kind of, it's pretty clear. I don't have my eyebrows. And I need eyebrows. Okay, y'all, let me get myself together because I'm on the time crunch. It seems like I'm always on time crunch, y'all. That's because I sleep as late as I can sleep on Sundays because it's my weekend. But I be wanting to go to the... The first service so that I can do my grocery shopping early. I love doing my grocery shopping early, getting it out the way, and then I can meal prep. Yeah, and then I'll still have time to like meal prep before brunch, lunch. You feel me? Okay, I'll be back, y'all. This is the outfit, my dears. It's doing that stupid thing in the back, y'all. Might have to show y'all later. I don't know, but this is the outfit. I have a jacket, gray dress. I think this is from Fashion Nova. Mini Prada bag. Doot. Um, some cream socks to kind of go with the jacket. Then these black boots. I was stuck between the black on black, like black socks and black boots. But I thought the cream like bought a little pizzazz to it. And like kind of lightened it up a little bit. So this is what it's looking like. Braids. I put, like I said, I put a tiny bit of makeup on. And this is what I'm giving. And fragrance of today. We are doing Gucci Louis Prep. You know what y'all is it. So Gucci Bloom today. And I'm going to bring this with me. Um, yeah, so church we go. What up, though, y'all? So, sorry, I didn't get too much of brunch. I planned on getting a lot more footage of brunch. Um, and I, like, y'all see, I started eating my food before I even, like, showed y'all everything. But the food was delicioso. This is my first time getting brunch from where we went to get brunch from. But I have ate in there before for lunch and dinner. But I always seen that brunch menu was like, oh, it would be so good to go here. So... Yes, I had got the steak and eggs. My I got cheese eggs, steak, and some French toast. And I wanted that. I wanted to eat really good today because the challenge starts tomorrow. And I'm bringing y'all along on this journey. Like, if I haven't been serious about my body and like seeing and getting results, I am so totally serious this time it's not even about trying to win the challenge even though i plan on winning the challenge it's a smaller pool of us but it's only one winner and everybody that's going to be in a challenge that i'm in are like workout junkies and like are consistent and like play by the books like they gonna really follow and like do what they supposed to do so i really need to be on my a game therefore i splurged today and ate a lot and I'm not done eating for the day I want to make sure I eat a really good dinner too not that eating a healthy dinner isn't good but I want to just eat the stuff that I know I'm going to be binging from like I'm not gonna eat at all so yeah but the food was so good I had a mimosa the mimosa was delicious 
I really just want some Texas Roll House buns for the night. So I might even end up getting a healthy dinner, but like then eating four Texas Roll House buns, and that's on that. I'm so happy I'm off work tomorrow. I have a three day week coming up, y'all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Only got three days I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, of Monday and Friday. So tomorrow I'm gonna work out in the afternoon and I need to get a video recorded. I'm gonna try to record the video tonight. Actually, I'm gonna try because I really just wanna go in the house. I need to um, finish my meal prep. I started my meal prep, I need to finish. But I might just cook it tomorrow to be completely honest because I can, like I have the time. I'm just chatting right now. So yeah, so stay tuned with me y'all. Y'all gonna be going on this challenge with me is for 90 days three months it ends in may it's going to be tough because i have a couple small trips that i'm going to be going on and i need to stick to it and i also need to work out five to six days a week which i typically do anyway but if i go on a trip like i might only work out four days and i'm not worried about it because it's no big deal but to win the challenge it's a big deal so yeah happy sunday y'all it is sunday that food got me having, like, has me sleepy on the itis. And that's all, folks. That is all. I have nothing else. There's nothing more to be said. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We ate out, like, every day. We ate out Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's five days. So two days I didn't eat out. Was that, is that right? Did I eat out Wednesday? No, I don't think so. And I didn't eat out Thursday, right? child we ate almost every this week we had we probably didn't eat out two days but i definitely ate out friday saturday sunday and monday and tuesday don't be like me guys be, be better but this was very rare this is very rare I, I never ever eat out this much but i guess it was just preparing and doing my last hoorah before this challenge so it was definitely worth it my pockets aren't happy but it was definitely worth it catch y'all on the next vlog well y'all gonna see me on the zara haul first like i'm like really talking about the zara haul like i better do it because i've been telling y'all about this anyway so stay tuned to the zara haul then i will see you on the next vlog afterwards it's always something going on in my life even though i be like my life is boring y'all just a regular daggler girl chasing her dreams okay shop life fit and that's on period and y'all know what i always say be the light wherever you go because wherever you go the light shall fall love you guys so much bye